I'm ready. I'm Ron Litter. I farm in uh, Floyd County, raise corn, soybeans, and hogs. And I'm here today to talk a little bit about agriculture, where it's been and where it's headed, I think, and, uh, and from my viewpoint. I think if you go back and look at uh, at least my history in farming, starting in the, the uh, late 70s through the 80s, which were very difficult times for agriculture, uh, and where we've been just in the last seven or eight years, really some pretty good times in agriculture, with some opportunities that were brought in because of it. The biofuels industry, for example, and, and then a growing demand for protein around the world, uh, times have been pretty good. Uh, looking to the future, I think we, uh, like agriculture has seen in the past, we're going to have some ups and downs. Agriculture is cyclical. Uh, just because we're seeing uh, some very good times today doesn't mean that next year we couldn't have a little bit of a downturn. You just never know. And sometimes unexpected things happen. But in the long term, I'm very bullish and very uh, friendly toward agriculture. I think uh, its role will be ever increasing as the world population grows for both uh, demand for food and fuel. And I think the standard of living will have an increasing and improving standard of living around the world, which is a very good thing, will bode well for farmers. So I'm, I'm very optimistic. I think the future looks bright. Uh, but that, again, doesn't mean we aren't going to have some challenges along the way. Uh, so talk a little bit about um, growing conditions. Maybe tell me what you think uh, the moisture issue could bring in this next planting season. You know, I think uh, right now I, there's a lot of concern uh, about uh, the weather conditions we've had last year in particular and even the year or two before that. But uh, I sort of look back in my history of farming, and I look at the, the, the 80s, the late 80s, 88, 89, and we went through some of these same things. Uh, every year is a little different, and so I'm not sure this is quite appropriate, but we went through an open winter in 88, looking for a very dry season in 89, and in, in general, uh, most, most areas were rewarded with a very good crop. And I think it's probably the outcome is going to turn out to be more like that. And that's, that's what my hope is. You can't always predict the future, but I, but I think uh, looking for this year, uh, the number of acres that are being planted, uh, and if we get back, probably not going to be to trend line yields, but uh, maybe close to that, uh, we could see production restored, uh, which will be helpful to our end users, the livestock folks and, and the ethanol industry and our exports. So I, I think uh, that's the way I see it playing out. Uh, time will tell.